Hi friends! It's the beginning of November and it's October favorites time. As you've seen in my hauls and things, I've gotten a bunch of new beauty products in October. So a lot of these things are new or things that you've seen in hauls and now I can tell you which ones I love and what I think about them. Also, I wanted to let you know that I'm filming this on a day that I've worked and so that's why if there are bags under my eyes and my hair's a little flat, that's why because I got up at 6 a.m. and got ready at about 7. So just warning you, if I look a little haggard, that's why. I want to start out with some kind of skincare type things. This is something that I think I've mentioned before and this is the Purity Made Simple uh, Facial Cleansing Cloths. This is by Philosophy and Purity Made Simple is their facial cleanser and it comes in a bottle and this is it in cloth form. So I use these to take off my makeup at the end of the day and they do a really great job. Before I just used drugstore cloths and they left a really weird like film texture thing on my skin and I was not fond of that. I felt like I had to wash my face afterwards. Now if I just remove my makeup with these then I feel okay not washing my face afterwards because this is the same as the facial cleanser that I use. So these, I just bought a new one from Sephora.com, so that's why they're unopened and all that. My other pack is well loved and almost gone, that's why you're seeing the new pretty shiny one. My next fave is from The Body Shop, I ordered it online, I've talked about this before. It's the Chamomile Gentle Eye Makeup Remover. Now this eye makeup remover it removes all my eye makeup no matter how intense and dark. If you saw my Halloween makeup that I did last week, it removed that with no problem. And on top of that, it does it without hurting my eyes where other eye makeup removers I've had have kind of stung my eyes a little bit because my eyes are kind of sensitive. This product does live up to my expectations in that it removes my eye makeup very well and is gentle. So can't ask for more really great thing. Next, I have several items from the Venomous Villains collection from MAC that came out the end of September. And these are the products that that I liked the most. I did do a Venomous Villains haul video, so if you haven't seen that, check that out and you'll see everything that I got. And if you want me to talk about anything that I didn't mention in this video, I'm more than happy to. Everything I was happy with, these are just my favorite things. The first thing I want to talk about is a beauty powder blush. It's called Oh So Fair. There's the name. And it's got the Evil Queen on the front. And it's like a compact with a mirror that I'm going to cover up so I don't blind you. This was the one thing I was really looking forward to from the collection. And it's probably the thing I love the most. It definitely did not disappoint me. It's a really soft pink. And I am wearing it today, if you can tell. This is basically like a perfect pink color for my skin tone because it looks like a pink color I would just turn naturally and it's really great when you have like a dramatic lip or a dramatic eye or whatever and you want some color on your cheeks but you don't want it to be too overwhelming you want it to look really soft and natural and this is perfect for that another one of my faves from the Venomous Villains collection was the Revenge's Sweet lip glass and it's got Maleficent on it. I love how awesome and purple it looks on the tube and how pink and pretty it looks on your lips. I'm wearing it today and it's like a bubblegum pink but it does have a little bit of the purple undertone and so that's really really cool and really neat and you can see I've already used a bunch of it. I'm gonna be so sad when this runs out. I really love this. It looks so cool on top of pink lipstick. It just kind of gives it a little bit something special, something extra. Really great, really awesome. Love, love. Next up from Venomous Villains is an eyeshadow called Her Alter Image and it's from the Evil Queen part of the collection. And it's this really light, really blue-toned, lilac, purple color. And I wear this along with Vile Violet from the Venomous Villains collection, also from the Evil Queen. And it's this awesome plum, dark, eggplant purple color. So here they are together. A lot of times I'll just wear those two colors, like the Her Alter Image in the inner half and then Vile Violet in the outer half, maybe like a little bit of carbon or another really dark color, like in the very outer corner, but they blend together perfectly and look just like a gradient of the same color, which obviously they're both purple, but you know what I mean? Like they just look like it's one color going light to dark on your eyes. So it doesn't look like you have a lot of color and a lot going on on your eyes. I think they're really awesome and I love wearing purples on my eyes. Purples flatter just about every eye color, especially green eyes. And so it really makes my eyes pop when I wear these. And as I mentioned several times before, I'm really loving purple this fall. I've been wearing a lot of purple clothes. There's purple 
on my shirt today. I'm wearing purple nail polish and kind of had a lot of purple tone looks this month. So these have really gone along with a lot of, you know, clothes and nail polish and everything that I'm enjoying this fall. Another thing I've been really loving this month is the Kat Von D palette. This is the front in Ludwig. Here it is. The reason I really loved this palette was for those super pretty greens, and that's what I'm wearing on my lids today, so they come off just as awesome and bright as they are in here. So they're really great quality. But what I've been using a lot are these really great neutrals on this end. Like this color, I love. It's very similar to my skin tone, but it's just got a little bit of sparkle and a little something extra, and I think it looks so pretty on almost any eye look. This is another thing that I've been wanting for a long time and so I had really high expectations for and they were met completely. Of course, I've recently gotten another neutral palette, which you might hear about in a future video, that's kind of starting to replace some of these. Of course, I love this palette and those are some great neutrals, especially the one that's like my skin tone. That one's one I'll continue to use no matter what and I'll be super sad when that one's gone because I'm loving that one. And of course, these greens I'm super happy with. They're what drew me to the palette and they're completely living up to my expectations. Next, I have a couple things that I got for my Beauty Insider prize. My most recent 500 point prize was just a little Sephora goodie bag of just some various goodies from around the store, just little sample size things. And the two that are actually two of my favorites are things that I wouldn't have tried out otherwise, so I'm super glad I got to try them. One thing is the Buxom Lash Mascara. This is just obviously a little sample tube. And it's by Bare Essentials. I don't know if you can tell, but the one is like thicker at both ends and kind of has longer bristles toward the middle. Like almost everything else, I'm wearing it today. And it lengthens and separates my lashes. It does take a couple coats for me to get it as thick as I want it. But one coat leaves my lashes separated and dark and just really nice. And this is quickly becoming one of my favorite mascaras. Now I have several that I really like, so I'm trying to rotate and give them all some love. But this is one that I'm really gonna look into purchasing in the full size because it rivals my fave, I'm just saying. One thing I really love about this mascara is that it's not wet at all. And I have a big problem with wet mascaras because my eyelashes are really long and my eyes are really hooded. So my eyelashes touch the bottom of my brow bone, you know, without me even trying, especially if I'm like looking down, finishing up my makeup, trying to get ready. I had to look up and see mascara flecks up here where, that I have to deal with because my mascara was too wet. And that's so frustrating. So a mascara like this, I don't have to worry about that and it's really nice and I really appreciate that. The next thing something I definitely wasn't expecting to like and it's by Makeup Forever. It's their HD Micro Finish Powder, High Definition Powder and it's white. And I normally don't like to put white powders on my face because I'm so fair skinned, I'm afraid it's gonna make me look like a ghost even though a lot of times they're like translucent or whatever, but sometimes it does kind of give your skin like a white finish, you know what I mean? Kind of like lightens you up, which I don't want. I'm, I'm fair skinned enough already. But it comes out of little holes in the top and it's really hard to get out so I know I'm not gonna pour it all over my computer. This powder sets my makeup really well it gives me a really nice finish to my skin, and I just, I'm really happy with it. I never would have tried this, but I really like this, really nice. My last October fave is an orange nail polish, how appropriate. It's one I think actually my mom got me because I don't think I would have bought an orange nail polish, but I love this one. It's by OPI. It's called Hong Kong Sunrise, and it's an orange with like a gold pearl kind of finish. It's just like an awesome fall leaves, harvesty color orange. And I like OPI nail polishes a lot. They last really well for me and don't chip very much. They last a week if I want them to. Super great. So I'd really like it if you would leave your October favorites in the comments below. And thank you very much for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And you all have a great day. Bye.